we have a guest with us. You might have noticed in the background that being springtime here at Strozzi Institute, we have birds, birds in the walls nesting in the barn that we have here as our conference center. So you may hear our friends uh, developing their own interpretation of what we're up here, up to here today. And then this is a great practice for me because the birds are slightly distracting and I'm actually using my own centering practice to keep myself present in this, in this uh, filming that we're doing here today. So stand with your feet about hip width apart, hands by your side, and start to pull up. I'm gonna pull up just enough. Consider I'm putting some air between my vertebrae. So I'm pulling up. Now I don't want to overdo the up when I create getting myself, my body out of balance by Growing up too much, or energetically, I start to lift way up. You can see it's like the head starts to lift. This develops its own kind of assessment about the self that I am, the person that I am. So I want to bring that into balance. At the same time, it's not too much drawn down, such as weighted around the neck. Too much down, too much up. There's a place right in the middle here. What your parents always told you, stand up straight that little air between the vertebrae. At the same time I'm connecting up something greater than myself, I don't want to lose my ground. What's important to me? What do I care about? So I relax down. Follow me on this. Soften your eyes. Relax your jaw. Teeth are not touching. Lips are slightly parted. Open your throat. Clear breathing, clear speaking. Shoulder girdle here just relaxes down. Bring it up really tight, really tight, and just let it drop. Relax. Such as this is, a, this is a major coat hanger, everything relaxes on this. Drop your breathing down into, oh, there's our bird friends. We knew they were going to show up. Mom must be stopping by for a little uh, snack. So we want to include birds and nature inside of our center. You can include what's going on in our environment, in our centering practice. Wherever you are, if there's traffic in the background, people talking in the background, distractions, bring yourself back to what we're up to here. That's a component of centering. Bring yourself back present into this moment, into this practice. Then we have the dimension of width. The dimension of width is more of a social, social capacity, my ability to connect with other people, my willingness to take up this space my willingness to put my ideas and have my verse, voice heard into a group, into people. My ability to build relationships, to connect to others, build long-term relationships. All these things we could say have width in balance, have width in balance. Out of balance may be someone who is very tight. So energetically, they're very tight in. They don't take up much space. Might suggest somebody like this, they wouldn't have big network of friends. It takes a lot to have something. They might be actually standing somewhere over here outside of the circle. Tight in. The other side is taking up too much space. This would be somebody who lives in entitlement, has some level of arrogance. It's like, mine. I own this. You need to pay attention to me. You have to pay attention to me. Taking up too much space. We could say a lack of boundaries and the appropriate boundaries inside of our, our social structure. So the way that I'm filling out my natural width here, that I, I understand that I have a right to take up this kind of space, that I can feel other people around me. I'm not so isolating that I can't connect and locate in connection to others. I feel that sense of presence that I have in connection. It's rare that we're on our own. It's rare that we're not connected with other people. So a place to look is, what's the quality of your connection? What's the quality of your connection to others? Can you drop yourself just enough to stay connected to others without losing myself completely? So I feel this dimension of width. I feel the, the, the balance in it, side to side in my body. Not all the way to the left, to the right. Heads, head stays. I'm not off to the side like this. I line up to people, to the future that I'm moving towards. So without losing my length, I fill in my width. It's not too much, it's not too small, somewhere right in the middle. I feel into that. 
Then there's the dimension of depth. This is front to back. We could say behind us is all the things over time that has produced who I am today. We could say it's our genetics. They're a genetic structure which is, has a long, long history of humanness. We could say it's the DNA, which is more, this is the family, this is my lineage that, I'm, uh, that I've developed out of. So we have this, this history, and then there's my own life, and all the elements and experiences that I've had that have shaped me into, this is who I am today. That brings us to this present moment. And in the conversation of depth, the present moment is where we want to stand. Not too drawn back here, also not over-projecting into the future, over-concerned about what's going to happen tomorrow, what's the next thing that's going to happen. So I start leaning into the future in a way that I miss this moment. I miss being present with what's going on with me, with what's going on around me. I start overthinking. I start projecting myself into too much planning. It's not like planning isn't necessary or useful. It is but it's more useful to do it from this place rather than from a leaning in. So we could say out of balance in the dimension of depth comes from I'm going to retract myself, maybe I'm hiding my heart, maybe I'm pulling something and reserving something back here. So something that, that develops back in. I can have good length but not have good, good depth. Then there's the part where I can go, I extend forward. Sometimes out of balance and forward, my head can be extended out. So it takes work to hold this shape when I'm not over my hips. It takes more muscle to hold the shape. I'm over concerned. Developing is like, well, what about the next thing? What about the next thing? And I lose the possibility of this moment. So I find balance front to back. I'm not all on my heels, not on my toes. I listen to the stories and narratives that I'm in. Is it all about the past? Is it about the future? Can I bring myself present to this moment?